vision journal and I prefer a vision journal versus a vision board because I am a private person and I like to keep my stuff kind of concealed um, just don't like it exposed so that's the reason why I got a journal and so what I did was I have tabs that I created for sections of topics so I have a career finances, health, mind, which is really, um, I did a mind, body, and soul section. I have material items, so anything that's tangible, relationships, and which is my social, and then I also have that entrepreneurship tab so those of my and then what I do is I'm just going to insert since I have 10 different categories I divided this actually I believe that I had to divided them out so I get three pages each for each section I think it's a total of 60 pages and this is what the pages look like and so what you do is just insert whether you have um, positive words or a positive message or an image or a picture or photo and you just insert it and then you can just it's I'm working with a small space but I do have three pages for each category so that's what I'm going to be doing for 2020 and then I also have a journal book where I actually write all of my my vision and my goals down in here and that's by section also this is more of a visual journal versus one that's written so this is actually like my game plan so it also has it broken down to include let me see here It pretty much has like direction. It's kind of some very specific. I wrote down, and it's just a typical journal. Um, I'm trying to decide. I don't like to share, expose my stuff online. So, with the you know details of my journal and what I plan, I believe that's very intimate and personal. So. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I do, so I break it down by purpose, by vision, by direction, and goals. So that's like for an example, and then I break it down of what I'm trying to achieve, the direction I'm trying to go, and the goal. I don't really write down exactly time, um, because I actually will be planning that out in another planner so this is kind of like just to get my this is like a brain dump of all of my ideas and then as I work work towards my goals I use a planner that I write down what I'm going to be doing each day and then the last thing is a gratitude jar so I did this actually two years ago I tried to do it last year but I only put three days worth of um I'm actually on my fourth day so I only have three um, pieces of paper in here but what normally what you do is just I started from January 1st so you just write down every day something that you're grateful for and you put it on a piece of paper and you date it and then you just drop it in here every single day for the whole year by the end of the year you're gonna have a full jar and it's so beautiful to go through like on New Year's Eve or a few days before New Year's or just to reflect and you will see all the things that you're grateful for for the whole year. So um, I, I did really good in 2018 with a gratitude jar but I slipped in 2019 so I want to try it again for 2020. So those are the three things that I'm planning on doing. That's This one I did before but the vision 
journal is different and this is also new that I'm doing differently. So hopefully this will help you if you decide to do it. You can drop a comment below and just let me know if you're going to go ahead on this journey with me. And hopefully by the end of the year we will have the starts and more videos and we'll chat later. Bye bye.